One of the biggest arguments that we usually have here um, on my week is what we're going to talk about on the web extra. It's, so it's usually we tape it after the show, and then we're always like, so what else do you want to talk yeah, about a little bit extra? What else, what else do you want to talk about? So, um, And then we're usually nosy with each other. I'm like, what are you doing this weekend, or where are you off to right now? And you guys are going, um, you were downtown, so this is going to be coming on online tonight, but you're going mm -hmm. downtown to the Detroit Historical Society. What are you doing, Nolan? Well, it's kind of a, there's a uh, Bob Berry and his group's got a pretty exciting, ambitious project they're going to announce, uh, or did announce today, uh, at the Historical Society. They're going to uh, next, or in 2017 is the so 50th 17, anniversary yeah. of the 1967 riots, and they're going to try to capture the significance and the impact of the riots on this um, community with a multi-layered exhibition will be the biggest thing they've ever tried at the historical museum and it was such a significant event in this city's history and you know there's there, it's 50 years ago there's there aren't a whole lot of eyewitnesses still around and yet it's lingering effects of that of that event uh, still mark this city so I, I think it has a potential to be a pretty exciting project if they can get the um, funding and all the pieces together. It sounds like two years sounds like a lot of time, but they've got some big plans. Not. Well, no, the, exhibit, yeah. the exhibit they want to open at the museum next summer in, mm -hmm. in 16, so that they, they only really only have a year to get that uh, together. You know, one of the things that's interesting about this is uh, between 65 and 69, you see riots in a lot of different mm -hmm. major cities uh, around the country in Newark and Los Angeles, and uh, uh, the riots here, though. Take, have taken on so much more uh, historical significance than in, than in those other cities. And part of that is because of what's happened since. I mean, think, try to think of really great things that have happened to Detroit that, that push it in a positive direction since the riots. It's really hard to come up with, with, with them. And so it means something different. I don't, I don't think you'll see, for instance, uh, as big a deal made of uh, the 50th anniversary of the Watts riots, uh, which I think were in 68, um, you know, in, in 2018, as you will in Detroit for 2017 because of the, 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 the sort of marker that it was here. Yeah, the scars well, were deeper here, I think, and lasted a whole lot longer. And what they're talking about is putting it in that national context. I mean, Detroit was, you know, part of a series of, uh, of uh, disturbances during that period. And so they're trying to figure out where Detroit fits in and how the experiences after the post-riot experiences in those other communities differed from Detroit. So there's going to be a lot of, you know, it's not just going to be a static um, exhibit. There's going to be community conversation, lectures, uh, probably get out into the community with something along 12th Street. Um, you know, the, you go to the area where that riot was, and it is still it's empty. Worse than light. it was. So even yeah, I mean, so you bring up a lot of interesting points. <clears> and when you say, I mean, at the outset, you say riot. Um, I think some people will take, you know, will, will who, challenge that and say, you yeah. know, we don't want to, we don't call it riot. There are a lot of people who call rebellion. Call, call it a something, rebellion and something very, very different. Um, and I think what, what's also interesting is, do you, do you sit back and you look and you say, do we have a lot of the conditions here in the city of Detroit today, 50 years later, that we did in '67? Well, I mean, I think economically, there's no, there's no question the city's in at least as desperate a shape as it is uh, was the, then as it is now. The difference, though, is density. Uh, there were there were one point uh, I think four or five million people still in the city in 1967, and so uh, you know you had a lot more concentrated poverty, uh, and and it was less isolated even than it is now, uh, which makes uh, something like a riot more possible. I mean, I'm, where would you riot today, for instance, in in Detroit if you were upset to make a about, difference, right? Yeah. Um, uh, so I mean, it is different. In, in that way, and the, you know, the city is in, in very tough shape, especially the area that where the riots took place. My my mother's family lived uh, not too far from there in what was then a very stable neighborhood that is completely uh, dilapidated and, and struggling now, and that's true of almost every place around there. I, I think it's going to be interesting, <clears throat> especially if they start to capture you know personal stories, and they mm -hmm. and they find a lot of people who not only were part of it, um, but then have stayed in a lot of those neighborhoods. Um, when I was working at Channel 7, I was um, a producer there in 97, that the 30 years after the riots, and that was my job that summer was to do a 10-part series on 30 years looking back. Um, it was really interesting um, for me 
me because I had grown up in this area, I wasn't alive at the time, um, but to kind of go through those neighborhoods and I literally just took a couple days and went door to, you know, door to door, just, you know, talking to people, how long have you been here? How, how have things changed? And, um, you know, I, I think it's when you hear some of these, you know, these firsthand accounts and, and, um, and why people have stayed and um, how they view the change in the city now. Um, but it's more I think than it's just a city story. Um, Correct. This is, this is a regional story because those, the riots reshaped this region. And you go out and talk to groups and you know, they want to talk about Detroit. If they're an older group, if it's a group of, of senior citizens or, or whatever, inevitably, they, they, you know, they, they mark their, their um, relationship with Detroit to the, to the riots because for generations their families had lived in Detroit and then after 67 they didn't. And they moved to places, you know, like Birmingham and like uh, Livonia and like Sterling Heights. And all of these suburban communities just flourished after 1960. So it reshaped the, the region in terms of what it looked like and the growth of these suburbs, but it also broke the link to Detroit that many of these people in Detroit, many white people in Detroit, had with the city. That's when their families left. Is there a danger in dwelling on the past, uh, glorifying the past? Um, I, uh, I don't know. There, I mean, no. do you, um, there's always a danger of that. I think. I think so far from what I've seen of what they're trying to do at the museum, they're doing a good job of of neither uh, dwelling nor dwelling on it nor nor glorifying it. I mean, I think they're trying to to just acknowledge that this was this was a pivotal moment, uh, as Nolan says, not just for Detroit but for the whole region, and that um, uh, you know, 50 years later, it's worth sitting down to think. Where are we at this point? Um, also, and there's some good things that that uh, that we can all sort of talk about. I mean, uh, organizations like Focus, Focus Hope, Hope yeah. came out of the riots. New Detroit, uh, it came out of the riots. I mean, those are still organizations that today do an, an awful lot of the commitment good to things build the Renaissance here. Center. The Renaissance Center was know. was a direct response but, to that. But you know, I, as a whole, I don't think you could look at this and say it was a positive experience for the city or for, mm -hmm. or, or for the region. It was a, it was. You know, like a bomb sure. went off in this in this region, and it's taken a long time to recover. We're not fully recovered from it yet. In any event, that significant, I think, is worth exploring. I I really applaud what the historical uh, museum is trying to do, and I hope they get the funding to make this uh, as big a project yeah. as as they envision. All right. Well, that is my week after the show. We'll see you next week. Take care.